Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to do an unboxing and real life review on this Avid Power 12 volt cordless ratchet wrench. It's model number ACRW106 and I got it for $50.99 shipped on Amazon Prime. Alright, let's open her up. There's the specifications on the very colorful box. Manual, charger, here's the bottom of the charger, it says it charges at 2.4 amps, 12 volts DC. I was kind of excited about the sockets that it comes with, uh, let's see what sizes we have here. They are all standard sizes, so comes with an adapter for a quarter inch. Got a 7 sixteenths, a 15 30 seconds, a half inch, 3 eighths, 5 sixteenths, quarter inch, 11 30 seconds. These are all six point sockets, so that's nice. Alright, without further ado, Pretty nice, it has a lockout switch so you can't accidentally engage it. Just flip that. Oh. I didn't realize how much this LED stuck out. That's probably gonna get broken. And it looks like you can engage the light without engaging the tool if you just lightly put pressure on it, so that's nice. Although it does not stay on at all when you let go. Sockets go on pretty easy. They don't fall off too easy. There's a close up of the head. It does reverse direction using the head. I like that you can go really slow with it. Looks like this is about as slow as you can go. It does have a fair amount of torque when you press the button. Has a battery life indicator. Here's the label. It says its torque spec is 37 foot pounds and its no load speed is 300 RPMs. The battery is pretty light. I'm anxious to see how long it lasts. It is vented. Clicks into place really easy. I like that. Doesn't doesn't rattle. These red parts right here are actually rubber. They feel really nice. No problems there. There's the bottom of the battery. It says it uses a MW12B, and that's two amps, two amp hours, I should say. Case is actually pretty good. Feels really sturdy. The only problem is the hinge is made out of plastic, so that's gonna break eventually. But for 50 bucks, not gonna complain. At least it came with a case. All right, so I'm gonna fully charge both the batteries and go out and give it a shot. Alrighty, so I got my test rig set up here. It's a bolt that is bottomed out on this vise, 
See it can't go up anymore since it's on that catch as I tighten it. So I'm going to set this to 15 right off the bat to be conservative and save time since I don't think this is going to do 37. Alright, so there, this is set to 15. And I got another torque wrench here, just to double check. And I'm going to set this one to 15. Okay, 15. All right, that's accurate. That's 15. Set the tool to reverse. Oops. And 15. That can't be right. Hang on. 15. Set 15. That took a little ump. I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, 15. And reverse on 15. Okay, it'll do 15. Okay, it's 20. All right, second torque wrench set to 20. I should just click. Oop. Actually, I got a little bit of a turn out of it. All right, 20. one more time. Alright, 20. Alright, there's the zero and five, 25. Alright, that's 25. Alright, and 25. And the battery is full. It's not going to be capable of 25, let's go down to say 22. 22, second wrench. Okay. Alright, 22. I can do 22, but I think I kind of helped it a little. Okay, so 22 is the limit on this unit. It's not 37, but you can kind of help it along. So, this is 30. Yeah, not a chance at 30. I'll help it along a little bit and see if it can do 30. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, 22 is definitely the max. For my last test, I'm going to tighten this down to 
60 foot-pounds and see if I can hand loosen it. Alrighty, I found me a half inch grade 5 bolt. Got my safety glasses on. Alright, so that's 60 foot-pounds. 60 foot-pounds. Of course we know it's not going to take this off. But, let's see if we can do it by hand without breaking the tool. Hey, not bad. Let's do 100 foot-pounds. Oh, it's feeling kind of sketchy. Ooh, dang. <laughs> Had to grab the other side of the workbench to get that. All right, 100 foot-pounds. Of course. Let's try doing this by hand then. Alright, with this new bolt, let's repeat the test that I did previously, just to make sure there wasn't a bolt stretch issue going on. Alright, 30 foot-pounds. Okay, so yeah, this thing is definitely not outputting 37 foot-pounds of torque. All right, 22 pounds. Battery's still full. Yeah, so... 22 foot-pounds is the limit. Okay, one more time, 100 foot-pounds. Set it to loosen. of hand torque. All right, so now we're gonna see how long it takes to charge the battery that we just killed. All righty, time for a poor man's RPM meter. Alrighty, now I'm going to test how long the battery lasts, I'm going to see if it explodes, and I'm also going to see if the LED indicator here is accurate. Alrighty, I charged the second battery and put that in here, time for test number two. So in summary, it's a good, cheap, Chinese $50 tool. Uh, it comes with two batteries. I'm going to hold off on recommending it fully because I'm not sure how long it's going to last. But if the unit fails, I will update the description. Uh, thanks for watching.